Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Seiko Starcraft back bringing you some games from the WCS Season 2 Qualifier so that I can cast my buddy Flash. Me and him are super tight, super bro, super chummy. As he goes up against Bomber, who's been on just a tear of the last little bit. Really, really doing a great job. Been in the game for quite a while, but it's nice to see when these really seasoned pros kind of make a comeback and are, are doing really fantastic. So anywho, I've had a chance to cast a few of the Flash series coming out of the qualifiers and that's just because I'm a super huge fanboy. But these games, particularly with Bomber's success lately, gets a chance to show this, this TVT matchup and because I find it so interesting as a mirror matchup, it's one of my favorites. I don't think it's the one I have the most success in. Surprisingly, PvP is, I think. Because I play random. But TVT just leads to so many interesting matchup styles. And Flash, a lot of his series from these qualifiers was TVT. Versus Byung or Innovation. Where we've got to see a lot of his really great play against fellow Terrans. Now, what we're going to have a chance to see out of these two players. Because I don't see a cheese happening yet. Yet, I stress because I know that just about every Terran at the high levels of Korean stardom likes throwing in their cheeses once in a while. We have almost identical builds. Bomber is one of the few people that I've seen that embraces this no wall off at the front style. And the only reason I see a lot of people that it, you know enjoy doing that specifically is because it means that they have a better opportunity to not get sieged up and lose their production. A wall off is important to stop something like a run by, but that's not something you see a lot in TVT. You don't really see like four or six Italians just run into a base and kill everything. It's just because you're rallying all these stuff to the front anyways and you usually take care of it. I don't know what's up with this one SUV. He's running laps. Almost loses it too, actually. It would have been really funny if he did. I'm surprised how he got you know, 121 hit points left. That's a little strange. Anywho, Barracks is flying. Okie doke. Slightly confused. On this side, we see a reactor going down pretty fast from Flash. As I suppose we see actually a command center here from Bomber. Now, depending, I actually was, uh, was about to say maybe we're going to see two more racks and just see this one base timing push with just a whole bunch of marines coming out of a, you know, a reactor barracks, something like that. But that is not the case. We see the factory going up sooner for bomber. As we see it just starting now for flash. So still essentially mirrored builds, just slight differences in the approach. Now keep in mind this was before the Hellbat um, nerf so instead of seeing Banshees happening which is the super standard thing right now we're likely going to be seeing those Hellbat drops which is why we see reactors into factories because you get that one starport to start moving out with medevacs. I don't see an armory yet from either of these players so perhaps I'm just high on my own supply. Maybe Widow Mines. Mm -hmm. Starport slightly behind for Flash here. Interesting how these timings just kind of changed up. We actually see Hellions on one side and we see Widow Mines on the other. These Hellions are just right to the front. Figured he might send them across the map just to test the waters. It's nice to actually take a Widow Mine if you're really clever and sneak one out the front. Because it's not that expensive in the grand scheme of things. So even if they have to scan to kill it, it still costs them more because that's you know you can make I think it's just about 300 minerals from a mule, which comes out to I think 100 or 125 total. Yeah, 100 total for a widow mine. Interesting play from Flash. Very defensive. I'm actually quite surprised. I think Flash is very very concerned here. I don't have any other way to say it because this is very strange to see that he's immediately moving into s into defensive play. He did throw down a scan, and he didn't see a tech lab on the starport. I don't know if he actually could see far enough. Yeah, he couldn't see a tech lab. He saw it was making stuff. 
but because there wasn't a tech lab, um, I was a little surprised. But there we go, he's going to pick it up. We're just looking at Flash's view here. We do see him now moving into the Hellbats. Whereas on the other side of things, we actually only have Mech, it looks like, coming out from Bomber. Four Hellions down on the map. Producing lots and lots more. This looks like a mass, mass Hellion thing. He's actually, I think, hiding some as well. Very strange. And there is no wall up here at the front from Flash. He hasn't continued making supply depots up here. I don't mind the bunker behind the... The supply line, sorry, the mineral line, just because of how common it is to drop hellbats. Which is why we see the one widow mine sitting in that. Which is risky as well because it will damage your SCVs with friendly fire as it goes past. Look at all of these hellions. It's crazy. Double reactor hellion. Mass, 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 mass. Oh, what, what the crap timing. Wow, that's actually a lot of Vikings out. And look at all those Hellions! What does Flash do about this, actually? Because he's... Let's look at the unit stab. Is he about to just lose? He's got two Vikings, two Hellions, and three Hellbats. to 19 Hellions and three Vikings. He's got a huge macro lead. Look at the difference in workers right now. And there wasn't even that many killed. There's only killed three. This is ridiculous. Oh, man. Insanity. The Widow Mine was down, but unfortunately, the splash damage from the Hellbats went straight through it. This is ridiculous strategy. Now, Hellbats are obviously fairly good against Hellions, but with this many Hellions, he's just gunning through it. Still has the Viking control up here as well. Vikings? Wow, he actually lands the Vikings here. Pretty crazy. Is this supply depot going to go down? Yes, it is. The Vikings sniping from the low ground. This is such a crazy strategy out of Bomber. Whoa! At the same time, five, 12 kills. Let's just see that drop for a second here. Let's back it up slightly. There it is, yeah. So many of these are still damaged from the last time. It wasn't even that bad of a pull timing for Bomber. It's just that he's so preoccupied with what's going on over here. He's trying to get the mass repair on the Vikings. Unfortunately, Flash is not controlling his Hellbats over here, otherwise he probably could have dropped into this mineral line and evened things up. I'm sure that's why he hasn't left the game yet. Oh, man. What do you do against this? There's the drop again. Lift. Lift it up, Flash. So, units tab. <laughs> One SCV to 14. And there's the GG. What a crazy game. I'm very, very impressed with that. That was a... I don't know the last time I've ever seen a mass Hellion strategy, rust the front door strategy, from a Terran against a Terran. That was really, really cool. And it completely uh, caught Flash off guard. I think he was completely unprepared. I had no idea that that was coming at him. Sweet. Well, game one in this best of three goes to Bomber. Should be back with my boy Flash and let's see if he can tie up the series in just a moment.